Hello everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to be making one of these plastic knobs in aluminium, so I hope you stick around. Okay, so we're in Fusion 360 right now, and it was actually a friend of mine who asked me to do these knobs for his 55 pickup, and I said sure why not. So he made a CAD file which I've imported to Fusion 360, and it looked like this. Then I took the time to make a small fixture since I'm probably going to make 5 or 6 of these and this is going to make it a little bit easier for me to clamp down the stock in the vise so the plan is to mill out the bottom first which looks like this drill a hole in the center and thread it so I then can turn it around into this hole which is the same size as the knob and do the top part so pretty simple so let's look at the cam side I'm gonna start out by facing it off, yeah, so I get a nice flat surface. And for this, I'm gonna be using a three mm two flute end mill. And I'm not gonna go over all the feeds and speeds really now because it's gonna be in the video later on if you want to see it. And I'm just gonna take it real slow with a step down of 0 0.8 millimeters. Then it's time for two drilling operations. The first is gonna be a peck drill. With the same end mill. I'm gonna peck at 0.7 millimeters each time and then the next drill operation will be a circle milling. And that's just so we can widen the hole to 3.3 millimeters. So I then can thread it to 4 millimeters. After that will be the adaptive. And this is gonna be made with a 1 millimeter rough step down and we're gonna be leaving 0.50 millimeters of the stock. So we then can come back with another tool. This time it's gonna be a two flute ball end mill. And we're gonna take it real slow so we get a nice finish with a step down of 0.3 millimeters. And that's it for the bottom part. Then we turn it around and do another facing with the same setting as before. Then a new adaptive also with the same setting and same end mill as before. Then a spiral cut, so I get a nice flat center, which I may engrave later, I'm not sure, maybe. And I'm gonna take it real slow with a step down of 0.3 millimeters, so we get a nice finish, hopefully. Then it's time for a contour pass around the edges. And this is just because the stock is the exact same size as the knob, so I just want to remove a little bit of material to get a nice finish. And we will lose some of the radius, but it's no big deal. And the last thing is the finish pass. And this time I'm going to be using a 3mm ball end mill with an even smaller step down of just 0.08mm. So we get a nice finish. That's pretty much all. Uh, the bottom part is going to take... 40 minutes and the top part is going to take almost 35 minutes so it's not the quickest but I'm not in a hurry I just want a nice end result so let's head over to the CNC and mill this out
I think that turned out pretty good. This is the first real practical aluminium project I have done so far, so I don't think I could hope for much more. And with that said, if you have made it all the way to end, good for you! And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye!